It's very hard to read because I was scribbling it throughout my work day. Mine bullet points. Not a good idea. Uh, I thought it was something funny where if someone says, I'm on a roll, the other one says, well, get off it. And then pull it out of your ass. Go away. It's a roll. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's recording. Seven. Maybe says it's recording already. Eight. I saw what he did. That's fine. It can be recording. I don't give a shit. I got eight. Oh, I, got oh, I also wrote down eight things. I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I got eight. Oh, sweet. Look at that. All right, well, apparently we're recording. So, I <coughs> wanted to... Okay. Yeah, so, uh, before we begin what I want to call Pick One, it's where Justin and I are going to be asking each other, uh, what if... No, it's going to be, would you rathers, uh, this versus that, and this or this. Uh, I just want to call it Pick One because it's easier. Um, so... But anyway, uh, before I begin, my fucking car was iced over on the inside of my windshield again today. And I called the lot that I got it from, and they said, well, if you just Google something, if you, just, if you just Google it, uh, there's some good ideas on there, is essentially what they told me. To which I said, well, yeah, I could have fucking done that. I'm wondering, like, if there's an issue with it, because I've already reported, too, that maybe you assholes would just take a look at it figure out why it's doing that, because that's not normal for the frost to be on the inside of my car. And they said, no. And then he says, oh, well, uh, I'm Googling it now, and you can do this or leave your windows down. I'm like, yeah, I'll leave my window down, let the moisture out, and just be fucking, have all the snow on the inside of my car. You know, I'll do that. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, that's pretty standard fare for us, dude. Your last car did that, my car does that. Yeah, so I was pretty pissed that's off about that. Part, I know. And then I had to go get gas, and my card, my card got rejected on my way home. Oh, and then I had to run it again, and then they let me run it. The good news is that it only takes 20 bucks to give my car half a tank of gas. That's cool. So that's pretty freaking awesome. It's first time I put gas, well, second time I put gas in it, but I mean, like, first time I didn't put less than full in it. Wowzers. Yeah. Neat. Anyway, that was my day. Well, there's a bunch of other stuff, but that's... I stayed at home all day. You did. I made wanna, You want to give them the list that you gave me earlier when I asked you what you did today? Yeah. I, well, how did I start it? I say I, I, I wrote some. I wrote some of my story. I jerked it a little. He jerked it a little. Made some food. Made some food. Took out the trash. He took out the trash. Yep. And yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I'll go first. Real easy one that you and I both can enjoy. Boobs or butts? That's that's actually pretty tough. Uh, I, I like the whole package on a on a on a lady. So uh, it's really crumbly because I had it in my pocket all day at work. Man, you know. But, you know, what do you, what do you want? If you had to pick one, boobs boob, or butts? Boob, boobies are, I'd say, I guess boobies. Why? If I had to focus on it. Because, you know, if it was like, if it's like, you could either bury your face in some boobs or some butt. I'd rather bury my face in some boobies, because, you know, you know what comes out of the butt. I've used butt as a pillow many times, and that's, it's just as good sure. as boobs. You're not burying, I mean, it's you're not not as burying as, your face in it, though. It's not as good. I have. Okay, well, you have. But. I've licked the butthole once. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Next topic. That's, you know, stop there. Okay. That's nasty. All right. Want to do one of mine? You go next. Okay. This is, a, this is the only one of mine that I thought of on my own. Would you rather be buried or burned alive? That's, you know, buried alive or burned alive. Oh. I'd pick buried. And here's buried? Why. I'd pick buried. Because there's a could be a possibility of me escaping. I mean, there's got to be something I can do or at least try to divide it. But it's never, it's never going to be... It's going to be... Much harder than it looks like on TV shows where like they. It probably. I'm sure it is. You just immediately suffocate yourself with dirt. I'm I'm sure. I'm sure it is. But I have a few ideas. But also, at least that. I feel like the less you breathe, your body just kind of shuts down for the most part. Unless you start to hyperventilate, in which case you probably give yourself a heart attack or something. But I don't panic that easily, so I feel like I just go pretty peacefully as long when I start to run out of air. Where if if I'm burned alive, well, I ain't got time to think but run around and hopefully catch the motherfucker on fire that's burning me. Unless I'm tied to a steak, in which or, case at least I, I, I can smell a delicious steak while I'm do, dying. Do like eventually are you gonna like not be able to feel anything? It's gonna burn all your nerve endings away, and you're gonna like, oh, yeah. oh, all right, uh, yeah, kind of die, yeah, on fire. That though, I'm, I not, mean, there's a, I'm a, not a rougarou. Okay, is that what there's a called? Was yeah, that rougarou? Sounds made up. <laughs> anyway. that made up. It sounds made up. Go ahead, buddy. All right, here's one that will strike close close to home of we '90s kids. Uh, the original Ninja Turtles or the original Five Power Rangers? Turtles. I figured. Fuck that. I thought maybe you would get at least consider Power Rangers because hey. the Pink Ranger was so hot. Yeah. She's like... Yellow, oh, like Aisha, I think her name was. Yellow, and she, she was okay. 
Uh, yeah. But yeah. it's pretty cool because in the first season of that show, uh, the Red Ranger's name was Jason. That's my brother's name. And in the second season, there was a blue guy called Justin. That's my name, uh-huh. as you might know. Was that the little short one that like yeah, grew he, like he threw two like five feet, feet when he transformed? Yeah. Yep. That was so stupid. Yep. That's so stupid. Yep. All right, you're out, buddy. All right. My next and, thought. Keep in mind that after that first one, all the rest of these you took from the internet. Not completely. Maybe <laughs> one piece of the idea and another one. I like guess one, the first part of one question was, would you rather be deaf in one ear, or I think it was only able to surf the internet an hour a day? And I was asked kind of stupid, because we're not really like, too cute on the internet. We're not like internet, you know, crazies. Anyway, so I, I thought, would you rather be deaf in one ear, or blind in one eye? Or deaf in both ears, and deaf in both eyes. Deaf or blind? De- deaf in both eyes? Yeah, whatever the fuck. Deaf <laughs> or blind? <laughs> Say something. Say if I'm deaf in my eyes. Fuck. You. Nope. <laughs> um, I think... Oh, thanks, asshole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, that was cameraman Vic who forgot to turn off his phone. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> he didn't read the signs. <laughs> yeah, can't you see the sign? Silence on the set. Uh, I would probably be okay with being... Um, Deaf in one ear. What about? Both? I feel like I favor one side anyway. Like I'm trying to listen to things as long as it's not See, this year. Because I feel like I, I always this? this year to people. You know why else I chose this? Because I don't know if you remember this or if I actually mentioned enough to you. Nope. you remember, but I kind of can't hear very good out of this ear for whatever reason. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I barely heard that. Well, it's probably got like excess earwax in there. That's probably what it is. It's, I think it stemmed from like a water incident in the pool one year and it's never fixed itself. Yeah. Or something, I don't know. Yeah. What about you? Would you rather be burned or. I mean, that's not. Burned or deaf? <laughs> that's not my question, so, you know, go ahead. Oh, well, I was having a week do a debate back and forth. Okay. Here's one. I'd rather be deaf, like. too. But, you know, it's hard. It'd be, it, I think it'd be easier to transition into being deaf than being blind because, you know, you can at least still see where you're going. You'd have to look around a lot more often. <laughs> Would you rather have, this one I thought a lot about, and I might word it wrong, but would you rather have Olivia Wilde for one night, but have, in the bedroom I mean, but have no use of your hands whatsoever, you couldn't touch her at all with your hands, or would you like to have her for a year, but not have any sexual contact with her? I think night, man, that's kind of that's kinky too, like she got me tied up and I'm like, It's oh, not tied up, your arms are just limp. Oh, whatever. Just, Even so, just like noodles. It's still kind of kinky. You can't do anything with them. I'd be like, oh yeah, baby. I am I, at your disposal, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I picture it. Or you just have her, I'd not bend over. <laughs> yeah. Just please unzip my pants and we're going to get started. Uh, yeah, I thought that would be a fun one. Yeah. Is that bad that I pictured you doing that? I what? didn't see your wiener in my dream. Or but... this. <laughs> that one. <laughs> nope. Standard fare for you. It is. All right, go ahead. Okay. This this one's kind of similar to what yours was. Is would you rather uh, get to be with a celebrity, any celebrity you want, like in like relationship wise, or you know however you want, you know, or like someone you know in real life, like somebody really hot, like like Naomi for instance. You... Naomi was hot in a Batman suit, but I mean like I don't know if like date her or want her bang her. Anyway. Uh, she just some people are just strictly eye candy and nothing else because I feel like I'd be disappointed. Okay, at any rate then, some somebody well that's really all oh, celebrities are is eye candy too. So uh, fake eye candy, well not fake, but celebrity uh, eye candy or real life eye candy. Well, like, exactly somebody that we know. Yeah, somebody you yeah. yeah. Somebody that I've seen or somebody that I know. See, there's a celebrity or somebody you know. If you've seen them, they that may I can bang or be with. Be with, just in general. You probably bang them too. Hmm. Well, that's tough because you know, as you know, we're both on the market. And I don't really have any in particular that I'm looking at. You know, I mean, I did. Miranda. <laughs> I picked Miranda from Dave and Not Buster's. Desperate or weird at all? <laughs> that's the first answer I could think of. But I mean, if I had to pick a celebrity, I'd go maybe. Uh. I mean, I have my silver... I mean, I'd like to at least hang out with Shandy for a little while, although she's well above my pay grade, but... Shandy Finnessy, look her up. You won't be disappointed. She's adorable. Um, well, yeah, next one. I don't, I don't have a solid answer for that one. Right, you. Okay. Teleportation or mind control? Hmm. Yeah, that's tough, too. You can either teleport and like make your life easier, or you can control people's minds and become a fucking world controller. I'm not looking at your stupid paper. Yeah, I can barely tele- read your chicken. I'd probably use teleportation because I feel like I'd be afraid of what I might do with my control. 
See, I was uh, the exact opposite. I mean, I was torn. Because, I mean, in some cases, my hero complex would kick in, and I could be a hero, and just depending on how the teleportation worked, I could teleport to where the trouble was being had. And then I realized, hey, that's my only superpower, so if I, I get, I get there, I'm dead. I'm probably fucking dead. Yeah. I was but then I could still to... maybe help, or at least if I could teleport somebody with me, like if I just grabbed you, just whoop, took you with me. Yeah. But I don't know. But I thought, mind Although control, also... depending on how powerful it could be, if I knew where the fuckers were, blow up the brain or make them hit their head off a wall or something. Also, so I though, think I'd do mind control. I feel like if I had teleportation, somebody hit a whiff, a whiff of it, and then, you know, somebody in the government would probably try and abduct me. And That's probably the same way to mind control. I know, but that'd be, that'd be easier to hide because, you know, you're not physically... They, like, they'd put one of those little headbands on me and be like, can you control my mind now? And I'd pretend, no, no man, you're good. And then me and the whole the while, I'd be controlling his mind, making him think that it didn't work, right? Or I could rob a bank. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> and I got that idea from a mysterious hand that appeared over there by the camera. You didn't see it, but it was creepy. Yeah, you didn't see it, but it was rather said, rob a it bank. rob bank. I don't know who rob bank is, but we should probably talk to probably him. Probably make some good music or something. All right, what you got? Uh, I'm not doing all of them. I'm just skipping around the ones. You know? Well, I only have like five anyway, so. Yeah. Would you rather be super rich or immortal? Super rich? As in like infinite, Rachel's let's just say dad? Inf infinite, super? Let's just say infinitely rich. Wealthy. Like Batman. He's not new film. What was the second one? Immortal. It, does immortal mean invincible or just that I can't die? Immortal. Whatever you take it to it. Whatever you want to think of it as. Because I always found that immortality, people always say immortal well, let's just say, you got, yeah, well, I, always, I usually think of it, it depends on what your thoughts. Like you're talking like, Dragon Ball Z immortal where you're you infinitely can't... wealthy and you're infinitely alive. No matter what happens, you can't lose your wealth and you can't die. Say does that, that mean that I'm still getting older? It doesn't matter. Because it ain't infinite use, so yeah, you know. Okay, because be immortality, I'd still be aging, and I don't know if I want to be on Earth as like a nine thousand year old man, fucking. I think at a certain point, you're probably, you're probably... snailing across the Earth. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so I, I feel like I want to be infinitely wealthy and be able to help myself and others, and just you know, do with it with what time I have. Yeah. If I get shot in the brain, then so be it. JFK style. Right. Cool. Yeah. What about you? Money too, because I, I don't want to outlive anybody. I like. Yeah, that would That's be hard. Sad. That would be hard. I thought about that too. Yeah. Unless everybody else can come with me, I don't know. Yeah. That would be like the, what's that movie? Everlasting Tuck. Yeah, yeah. Tuck, yeah. Everlasting. Tuck Everlasting. Yeah. Remember that from school? Anyway, yep. Go ahead. All right. Get <sighs> quit. Would you rather never have to poop again in your entire life, or would you like to be able to breathe underwater? Breathe underwater. Totally poop, different, right? Pooping's a fucking a good experience. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that, but I, I continued with it halfway through it. Totally, because now I got a new book, it's like my, uh, I look forward to shitting even worse. So I can go read my book, and it's great. So yeah, I'd breathe underwater. I feel, I feel like I so would Imagine never... the adventures you could have. You could fucking go down and like, look for treasure and shit. And that's not to say that you're a good swimmer. It just means you can be under there and right. not drown. You can just be floating around forever, Titanic style or something. Well, I'm a, I can swim, so I, I, I'd, I'd be able to swim and breathe underwater. You can still get eaten by a shark. That's true. But fuck You're in their territory, man. I, know, I didn't say where I'm swimming. I'm swimming, I'm swimming in a pool with treasure, <laughs> motherfucker. Leave me alone. You're swimming in a pool with your own trinkets. I just threw some shit in there, and I'm like, ooh. I never want to poop again. Really? I hate pooping. I hate shitting. I mean, sometimes it's just after a day, you, you know, immediately shower at every. Shit. I shower almost after every shit, just because I hate it so much. He also has very weird poops too. <laughs> he has a lot of trouble. I have a, a stomach disorder that makes me have weird poops, but this guy poops weirder than I do. <laughs> it's not. It's not that I have a condition. It's just that my, I'm my, my bowels can't make up my mind what so, they're gonna so do. What's wrong with him? Sometimes they look like goat turds, and other times they. It looks like you know I had too much chocolate pudding for breakfast. Um, <laughs> and everything in between. Would you have rather heard about his shit or not heard about his <laughs> shit? <laughs> I got no secrets here, folks. All right, All right, well, I'm gonna got? skip my next one because we pretty much went over that with like teleportation and shit. I was gonna ask like what just what superpowers like have in general overall superpowers. I couldn't pick. Yeah, that's tooth. Any, it's tooth. Anyway, my last thing is really fucking stupid. <laughs> I thought it'd be pretty interesting though because we could have a good discussion about these creatures. Okay. Would you rather mermaids or unicorns be real? Would I rather mermaids real? Would you rather unicorns or mermaids be real? I don't really care about either or, to be honest with you. But I mean, if I had to pick one. I'd say, man, it'd be kind of cool just to hang out with a mermaid. I mean, I had to be out at sea, though. You'd just I'd, talk I'd, to I'd choose them, too. And somebody'd probably, like, capture them and put them in the zoo or some shit. And well, then... that's why I'd choose them, because they're, they, they're at least kind of human, where they could probably, like, you know, talk or fend for themselves, and, like, you know, almost we learned a language, of course, but they'd be like another country pretty much under the water. Whereas unicorns, we'd be hunting them I mean, for the fucking And we try to usurp them shit. shit. 
I feel like, you know, we try to enslave the mermaids or hunt the unicorns for their horns. That's, that's, that's why I, I choose the mermaids. Cause they, I'm going to pick Pegasi. That's not a question, but okay. <laughs> and that'd be kind of cool. And Pegasi right? aren't really supposed to be like a bunch of creatures. They're just one horse with wings called Pegasus. Got a timestamp, Vic? It evaporated. It evaporated. How do we even know that we're still recording? What, what, we is what? Well, what's your last question? For me. Oh, man, Vic, we hired you as a cameraman so that you could help us out with this. It's not there. We're not paying you nothing for nothing. Honestly. Do you want the rest of his orange juice? <laughs> we feed him orange juice to keep him alive. What you got? Take a good one. Um, well, I have three that I skipped over. We'll just rapid fire them because they're all like kind of minor. Well. Wow. And they're kind of esoteric depending on who's talking. Ooh, that's a weird word. The Office or Arrested Development... Uh, pronounced GIF or GIF and Journey or Metallica? Metallica, GIF, The Office. All right. Reasons? <laughs> Fuck you. Bye. Alright, well, let's strike a pose while Vic turns off the camera. <laughs> <laughs>